Hello friends, welcome to Google Tech. Today we are going to see an interesting topic. How to uh, uh, sum the values which is already entered in the cell. And even if you want we can enter this uh, data based on the dynamic changes. In our previous video we have discussed to display the values using message box and we uh, getting the values from the input box. We are deploying it in the live scenario. If you have not seen our previous video, I have given the link in iCard and the description. Please do watch it. Let's jump into our video. So here in the live example, so we can see I have already given a headers like name, subject 1, subject 2, subject 3 and the total. Randomly we can assign the values name as like Gokul Tech and ABC EF anything. And here we are going to enter the values. So here we have predefined values. Now we need to sum the values once the once we are uh, running the program. So every time we can't add like normally what we'll do we'll select this range and we'll get the values. So instead of that we can do the macro so that it will automatically uh, sum the values whichever is in the three columns. Let's see how to do that. Go to developer tab, open your uh, Visual Basic editor, insert a module, create a subroutine named sub sum subject marks. So here we have to go with the three different process. One is to refer the cell refer the range so these are the two methods for you to do refer a cell or a range where we can able to sum the values in the excel sheet we can use both the methods or any one method to do the program now we need to <coughs> sum the values of column B to D. That's our task, right? In the values to be given in the column E. Now what we can do is this workbook dot sheets of sheet one dot range e1 is equal to we have to add the values of all the columns from b to d what we can do is we can refer the same kind of values right instead of E, it, it should be E2 and it should be from uh, B2 and then dot value plus dot value. So to simplify that what we can do is we can assign a va variable variable it contain values of the cell. cell or range right perfect so what to do I am assigning a variable a is equal to this workbook of sheets of sheet 1 dot range of E2. So this will automatically pick the values in the range B2. Even to simplify more we can assign a variable for this seat address as well but that will be a little more advanced we can see it in our next series of videos but as of now I am assigning it in this method. Let's test this by running F8 value will it taking the values or not. 
yes it's taking the value as 50 you can see the value is 50 perfect now the same method we have to do for all the other values as well so this workbook dot sheets of sheet one dot range of c2 c is equal to again the same this workbook dot sheets if you press the tab it auto fills for the predefined function which is already built in VBA D2. perfect so now we have given the values of A, B and C so to go back to the previous step press control control plus F9 it automatically take it, taking to the previous or else you can right click you can say place the cursor which line you want to execute and you can click on set next statement and then if you see all the values which is related to over there it will automatically getting filled 96 so a is 50 50 and b 51 51 c is 53 and c is 96 96 added now we need to sum those values in the column e2 right Simply you can give us A plus B plus C. This value will automatically added over there. If you see, this value is automatically added over here. Some value is 197. We can verify it, cross verify it. Open your calculator. 50 plus 51 plus 96. So 187. The, our exact value we received right perfect so now we have received it for the column e2 but we need we have five rows right so we have to fill it till e5 what we have to do so that's why we can declare a range where it will automatically define the range for, from the the desired location or uh, how much ever the cells we want to enter the data now as if it's a dynamic and uh, sorry as if it's a static and it's a beginning of our course I'm just going little bit not advanced in a proper static manner in further videos we can go how to dynamically change the last uh, row values and then how to declare a dynamic range for as of now I am declaring a range which is very static as if we have only a range value is 5 so I am uh, declaring a variable dim rng as uh, range it will automatically uh, define a range so rng is equal to set rng is equal to this workbook dot sheet sorry sheets of sheet 1 dot range of so we know the exact value where we need to declare the values e2 is to e5 so this automatically set the values which is already declared right now normally we use we have uh, in excel we what we will do is we will just select the cells and press ctrl d to do the action right the same which we have we are doing it here what i'm going to do is rng plus fill down it will automatically fill the formulas which is already executed over there but this time we have not given the sum formula it will not automatically pick the values it will pick only the values which is already over there I will just give you the confirmation over here you can see all the values is 197 but the values is completely different over here it's 217 and it's 283 why we got this error is because we have not used the formula we have used the direct variable to sum the values right so this is a critical area 
point to be remembered sorry critical point to be remembered where if you are assigning a values to the variable and you are summing it you can't use the fill down option over in the excel instead you have to declare all the values and you have to go for the loop else what you can do is you can manually type in the formula inside the uh, variable inside the uh, VBA so that it will automatically pick the values how we can do is equal to sum of so it should be the column from B2 is to D2 close the bracket close the quotation so if we run the formula now you can see we got the values as it is in our next video we are going to show how to do that in the loop which is a for loop and if condition as well stay tuned with google tech we'll meet you in next video jai hind